Hi, we're Jake and Emily, the two roaming souls. And this is our camper van. We named her Delphi and she's a one of a kind self-converted camper van. We moved into the van full time in July 2019 and we've been traveling around the US ever since. She's a 2010 Ford E350 extended with an aftermarket fiberglass high top. So it's tall enough for both of us to stand. When we got her, she was a retired airport shuttle. So we gave her a makeover and now she serves as our full-time adventure mobile. Now let's take a tour. So starting at the entryway, one thing we love is these steps because it was an old airport shuttle. Um, it helps us get into the van uh, so we don't have to take a huge leap into the van like most others. Um, and then one nifty little spot we have here is just more storage and it's where we keep our bug nets that go around this door. And now we have our mud room where we have all of our shoes um, in the shoe rack and then we also have storage for our shoes under the passenger seat and then also right behind the driver's seat we have another area for shoes. We have a lot of shoes. <laughs> And then we also have a S-hook that we hook onto this curtain rod so we can hang our jackets, purses, anything that we need easy access to. All right, so into the kitchen. Start here with our Vitra Frigo fridge. We'll link to the specific one in the description. Um, we're really happy with it. It's uh, pretty efficient and um, it's got just enough space for everything we need. Usually I have a couple of beers, a bunch of food. And then we have a fridge up here where we usually just keep ice cream and ice cubes. Two most important things you need. Down here in this drawer, uh, we have our toiletries. Um, it's a little unorganized, but you know, everything fits in there, so who cares? So this is our uh, homemade countertop. Uh, it's pine boards and we stained it and um, coated it with polyurethane. So it's all waterproof and everything. And then our sink here, runs on a 12 volt pump. We've got a little switch right there and then you can run the water from just the normal faucet which is on a, a bendy um, apparatus. And then we have filtered water here that we use for drinking which is really nice because we don't have to worry about where we're filling up our water. And then so underneath we've got our three water jugs. This one here is the gray tank, so all the water that's in the sink drains down into there. And then these are our two fresh water tanks. So our total capacity is 11 gallons of fresh water, um, which is pretty good. That can last us like a week and a half to two weeks if we're being very conservative with it. But we have a whole blog post that details how we did all of this, if anyone wants to um, sort of recreate what we've did, done here. This is our tile backsplash. Um, it's fake, but you wouldn't know it because these are like 3D stickers. Highly recommend. They were very cheap and really easy to put on and we think they look great. Um, and we don't have to worry about like tiles falling out if we're on a, a bumpy road, which we do drive on all the time. Um, and then in our kitchen, we have a couple drawers. This one's kind of your main utensils drawer. So we've got everything in here, tin foil and stuff. And then below that, we have our really big drawer, which we love because we can put in big, like tall 10 to 12 inch pans sideways, and then they're easy to pull out. So we've got all of our uh, kitchen stuff that we need in here, like our little propane for the camp stove, pots and pans, blender, cups, cutting boards, you name it. And then down here, uh, we have our camp stove. So whenever we want to cook, we just pull this up here, open it up. We plug in the propane tank on the side and start cooking. This is the Camp Chef Everest. We'll link to that if you're interested. We really like it. It's kind of a top of the line camp stove where you can actually like simmer foods on low heat. For our overhead storage, um, we have our pantries up here. And so these open and they have these little air hinges to keep them open, which is nice because then you have two free hands when you're going in here. Um, so we keep all of our pantry stuff up here for the most part and a little toiletries. 
Got tea, coffee, um, this little uh, electric water boiler, which is awesome because we use that for making tea and coffee in the morning. And we don't have to worry about getting the whole camp stove out and getting a pot and everything. Um, so this has been a great addition to making our lives easier. Um, and then on here, we've got these custom rope handles. Um, we have a blog post on the website talking about how to make these. Um, not only do they look great, but they also cost like less than a dollar each. So big savings and not a bad aesthetic either. Um, and then to keep these from swinging open when we're driving on bumpy roads, we have um, a little hair tie down here and it just goes on the head of this little screw. And then that makes sure that these things don't fly open. And then uh, what we do to keep these drawers from flying open when we're driving around is we just have these little L-shaped screws and I drilled a hole through um, inside the cabinet or inside the drawer. And so you just slide these in and they kind of lock into those little holes and that prevents the drawer from coming out. We wanted to have a closet built into the van uh, so we could have an area to hang all of our clothes that we didn't want wrinkled. Um, it actually holds a lot of clothes um, and it keeps them all wrinkle free. Uh, and then we also have a upper and lower cabinet that just kind of holds a bunch of other clothing and random items. And right above our bed, we have our dressers. Uh, this is Jake's, that's mine. Um, we're able to like keep most of our clothes up in here. And then another place that we have storage for our clothes is right down here. We just built a box on some caster wheels so that it just slides in uh, nice and easy uh, in and out. And so when we're driving, we definitely have to like lock it with these little locks so that it doesn't fly out. Another important thing with our clothing is we need somewhere for all of the dirty clothes to go. So we have this little laundry chute that opens up to our garage and we're able to throw our dirty clothes in there so that we don't have any like smelly uh, clothes lingering around the van. And this is our bed. We knew we wanted a stationary bed. We don't want to have to like convert it each day. And we definitely both hate making the bed. This is one of the only times you'll see it when we're taking photos or videos. <laughs> um, but we have a mattress topper on here and we got super lucky with how like tall both of us are because I can perfectly like fit there and Jake can fit here so we didn't have to like take any space out of the van build. We um, also built a TV holder thing so that we can watch TV in bed. Uh, it's not the greatest design, <laughs> but it still works. We can watch Netflix, Hulu, anything we want. Um, we can usually like link up anything like our Chromecast or we can like swivel it this way and watch TV or do some like work from the bench over here uh, using this computer monitor. Um, we wouldn't say we use it all the time, but we like it for the times that we actually get to like watch TV in bed and everything. One problem we have is I sweat when I sleep. What can you do about it? <laughs> so our bed actually sits on uh, a piece of plywood um, and we had an issue with mold. So we had to kind of build our own DIY hypervent, which these are like some plastic mesh um, so that the bed kind of sits off and air can like flow underneath. And we also have computer fans going under there uh, so that they can run and circulate um, whenever there is any moisture. Now onto the living room, dining room, everything room. Um, we have a bench right here um, that is sort of our couch slash dining room chairs, desk chairs, whatever you want. Um, we have our table that slides out from under the bed. Um, so, big table. We love that part. So the two of us can sit right here, can eat dinner, both work on our computers, there's enough space. Um, and it's also kind of modular because we can have it halfway slid out. If you slide it out to here, then one person can be cooking dinner and the other person can be working or whatever kind of configuration you need. And then to make sure that this doesn't uh, become a complete projectile anytime we slam on the brakes, we have this little barrel bolt over here and that 
just locks into place and then it won't slide out. Okay, now on to the electrical. So we keep most of it under here. When we need to get in, we just move the pillows out of the way. Flip up the top of the bench. And I got a little bungee cord to hold it up. So we've got full off-grid solar power. We've got 320 watt solar panel on the roof. Uh, two 100 amp hour lithium batteries and a 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. So with all of that, we run all of our DC appliances. Um, 12 volt stuff runs off here. That's like the fridge, the fan, the lights, um, and then anything like computer chargers or stuff that uses AC runs off of the inverter here. And so we've got um, some outlets run all over the van. So some up by the bed, some over by the kitchen, uh, some in here. So wherever we need to charge devices or anything, we've got power. So everything for the solar that we got was from Northern Arizona Wind and Sun. Uh, highly recommend the company because they have these off-grid kits sort of put together. So it makes it easier for beginners because you don't have to pick and choose all your parts. They give you everything you need and it all works together perfectly. Um, got a post on the blog for sort of how a beginner can learn how to put together a system like this. And um, so we'll link to that in the description below. So up in the roof here, we have our Max Fan 5100K. Uh, we absolutely love it. It's kind of expensive, but it's worth the price because this thing keeps us so comfortable almost year round. Uh, it's pretty quiet on low and you can really turn it turn it up really high and it can go uh, exhaust, so sucking the air out, or intake, uh, bringing air inside. And so if it's hot in here, we, we turn this thing on and it starts sucking the hot air out. It also kind of acts as a, uh, like a, a stove vent. So we're cooking right here and the uh, cooking fumes and whatever come up this way and they kind of get sucked right out through the ceiling. So um, that's a really great thing to have. It's kind of like the first thing we, we planned when we built this camper van. We wanted a rustic theme in the van, so we got this shiplap from the Home Depot, and we think it kind of like ties into the theme really well. Um, and then for our ceiling, we went with quarter inch um, cedar planks. It was actually great because we were able to like keep as much height as we possibly could in the van. And then for our flooring, we kind of went with a weathered look as well. It is vinyl planks, it's waterproof, um, so it's really nice because you often come into the van and you might have like wet feet from rain and stuff and it'll hold up really well. And we're pretty happy with how everything turned out. Okay, so now on to the bathroom. That's very elaborate. Um, we've got this little part of our bench down here and open the little drawer. And what we have in here is called a cassette toilet. Um, so basically it's just two tanks. There's a tank of fresh water up top and then there's a black water tank underneath. Um, so it's like a normal toilet. So it's got a regular seat and a lid and you can pump the little handle to flush it. And then when you're ready, um, you just pull out this and it all goes down to the black tank and then you close it up. And the handle broke recently, so I replaced it with a custom wooden handle. Looks kind of funny, but gets the job done. Um, we only use this for going number one. Uh, if, if it's an emergency, we would use it for number two, but for the most part, um, it's all we need. And we absolutely love having this because it means when we have to pee in the middle of the night, we don't have to like put on our shoes and jackets and go outside. So for additional storage, um, one of the main areas we have is the headliner. Um, so. Normally up here, we sleep with this blanket most of the time, but when the weather's warm, um, we probably stop using it for a little while. But we keep like our hiking day packs up here, um, hats and other stuff. Uh, so that's kind of a, a junk area. It's a lot of space. We can throw stuff up there, which is really nice. And then the rest of our storage is in the trunk. So let's head back to the garage. Here we have our garage, and uh, it's not pretty because it's where we throw everything, but whose garage is pretty anyway. Um, this is our telescoping ladder. I'll show you how that works in a second for getting on the roof. Um, and then back here is pretty much everything else. We have like our outdoor solar shower, 
all of our camping stuff, a little table, camp chairs, our backpacking backpacks, and then we'll keep like our summer clothes back here in the winter or vice versa. This is the bottom part of our shoe organizer. We cut off the bottom and then we screwed it here onto this door and it's really nice because we keep some like sunscreen, bug spray, or just other things that we want to have quick access to when we're hanging out. This is our telescoping ladder. Um, it's really nice because it's not mounted on the outside of the van. Um, so it's kind of more discreet. We keep it inside and then pops all the way up and it locks and then we'll use this to get up into our cargo box on the roof. Get up here or also to clean off the solar panel. As you can see, our van is completely covered in windows. So something that was really important to us for privacy and for uh, like heat and cooling was to cover all the windows. So we took some Reflectic, we traced it around the window, and then um, we wanted to actually have it insulated so that when it is cold, we have more insulation than just Reflectic because it has like a really low R value. So we added sheep's wool to um, in between this and a piece of fabric so that um, when we put it into the window, we can just kind of we use some magnetic strips so that it'll fit perfectly along the window and completely block out any light and keep us warm in those colder uh, months. Now up into the captain's chairs. Nothing too special. We didn't change much up here. But we've got a nice phone holder, plenty of outlets for charging devices, pretty good speaker system, and that keeps us going on long road trips. Thank you for coming along on our little van tour. Uh, we do want to mention that we own a blog called TwoRoamingSouls.com, and we cover everything from travel tips, gear reviews, everything van life. So head on over there if, we, if you want to read some of the articles we've written about things um, for our van build, like the electrical, um, our DIY countertop, and plumbing is a big one that Emily just wrote. That was a beast of a post. And then um, we also link to our van life shop on our website, which just has links to everything that we have in here. So if you see anything you liked, um, you can definitely locate it over there. So be sure to subscribe and follow us along on our new adventures. Thanks.